video will be dealing with floor plans so this is question four it reads sakile has enrolled at the university of johannesburg and is renting a bachelor flat in johannesburg use the floor plan of sakile's flat below and answer the questions that follows a floor plan of Sakile's bachelor flat. Uh, we have the direction. So if you check here, they've already given us our north. So we can just conclude here to say never ever smoke weed. So we have our four compass direction, which is north, east, south, and west. And then we have this scale if you look at this scale here is one is to 100 this is a number scale you do this before you start answering questions so we know now we are going to deal with this is a number scale it's not a bar scale it's a number scale because we know that one units on the map represent 100 units in reality and then another additional information given here they said note the area of the flat is 322,36 square feet and then in terms of conversion we are given 100 centimeter squared is equals to 0 0.1076.39 square feet if you are to convert so let's look at the questions the first question uh, write down the number of doors which open into the living area and the kitchen so when we check here the doors that open into web number one it open into the living room number two it also open into the kitchen and the living room Number three, it's also open into the living room. So we are having three doors here that opens into living room and the kitchen and three. I know that we also have a, a door in the bathroom, but this one does not open into even at the, at the bedroom here. It does not open into the living room, but it opens into the bedroom. This one open into the bathroom. The only doors that open into the living room and the kitchen is what I highlighted here, which is one, two, and three. We're having three doors. Move right along. Use the given scale to calculate the actual length of the bedroom, including the mechanical room. Okay? The scale that we are given is 1 is to 100, which we already know that is 1 unit on the map represent 100 units in reality. So now we have to take a ruler. With our ruler, we must measure the length of a bedroom, including the mechanical room. So when I do the measurement, I found that the length of this or the length on the map is nine centimeters. So on the map is nine centimeters. We're gonna write nine here. Is to X. Because we are looking for what? The actual distance. So we are having nine into X. So we do the cross multiplication. Now we're gonna have X is equal to, and then we have nine multiplied by. 100 9 multiplied by 100 we found that is 900 centimeters our calculation give us 900 centimeters but you should not forget we are dealing with what with a house a house is always measured in meters so we have to convert our final answer to meters so for us to get the relationship between centimeters and meters, we go back to what? The King Herring. King Herring, 
died miserable death called malaria. So if we check here, in this relationship, we know that we are having one, zero, 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 zero. So we are looking for a relationship between meters and centimeters. So meters, this M represent meters. Centimeter is represented by C. So this is the relationship that we are having. It's 100. And we know that when we convert from a bigger unit to smaller units, we multiply. But from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, we divide. So our final answer is now going to be 900 divided by 100, which is equal to 9 meters. So we have converted our 900 centimeters into meters, which is equal to 9 meters. So the house is always measured in meters. We should not forget that. Don't leave your answers in centimeters. Must be always converted to meters when we, we measure the house. And when we do the calculation, the actual, the actual length of the house. Let me divide here by here. And then 413. 413. The question says, convert the area of the flat to meter squared. So if you check the area here in the calculate in the equation, it is given as a three two two comma thirty six feet squared. They want us to convert this to what to meter squared. And unfortunately we don't have a relationship between feet squared and the uh, meter squared but we can convert this to what to centimeter squared because we are given the relationship between centimeter squared and the feet squared which is 100 100 centimeter squared is equals to 0 comma 1076 39 feet squared same unit same side so we check here what is it that we are converting we are converting the feet so the feet that are at our right hand side you write this feet here which is 32 2 comma 36 feet squared we are looking for what centimeter squared we have to convert this to centimeter squared first and then the feet squared and the feet squared they cancel each other and then we do the cross multiplication now we're gonna have x multiplied by 0, 0,1079 which is the same as 0, 0,107639 x is equal to you cross multiply the other one we are now going to have um 100 multiplied by 322,36 which is equal to 32 Two, three, six centimeter squared. Don't forget, this is the only unit that we are remaining with because we have cancelled the feet and the feet together. And then here we divide everything by what? By zero comma one zero seven six three three nine. Even the other side we do the same. Zero comma one zero seven six three nine. And then this and this will cancel. Then that's where we're going to left with x is equal to. Then the other one, we divide it by 0, 0,107639. We find that our answer is now 2994825296 centimeter squared centimeter squared so the question was we must convert this to what to meter squared not centimeter squared so now we have to convert this to uh, centimeter squared we must get a relationship but you and i we know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeter one meter is equal to 100 centimeter 
but we are looking for what for squared so what we need to do here we have to square both sides we square both sides when we square here we are now going to get the relationship between meter squared and centimeter squared we are now going to have one meter squared is equal to let's square the other side 100 square 100 squared is equal to 10,000 10,000 a centimeter squared this is the relationship between meter squared and centimeter squared it is 10,000 so what we know is that we are going to divide uh, by this converting factor of 1,000 10,000 I mean meaning that our final answer here is going to be X is equal to 2994825296 we divide this by 10,000 we divide this by 10,000 we are now going to get our answer in meter squared so we are going to have in the calculator 2994.82.5296 divide by 10,000 we found that it is 29, 95 meters squared we have converted that area to meter squared we found that is 29,95 meter squared this is how we answer that question the last question which is 4.1.4 please people don't forget to subscribe to this channel and then let's look at the last question. Sakila stated that he likes an open plan flat. Does this bachelor qualify as an open plan? Yes. To answer that question is yes. It qualifies to be an open plan um, flat. Now they are saying that give a reason. Why do you say so? Because there is no wall. Because there is no wall between a living area and the kitchen so this make this uh, bachelor to be an open plan the reason is because there is no wall between living area and the kitchen thank you very much for watching this, this video i will see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe